Sound K. When you've got a big exam, interview, or presentation ahead, how do you relax? If you don't have a stress relief strategy in place, let me share a tip with you. If you chew gum, it stimulates brain activity and、um, momentarily improve your concentration. But of course, spit it out quickly. If you have it in your mouth during your interview or presentation, uh oh, it can do much more harm than good. Welcome to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. Woo! Amazing song to start. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, October fifteenth, two thousand fourteen. And the first song of Sound K was "Mama Sita." Ay ay ay! By Super Junior. And as you guys know, we do have the actual Super Junior signed CD for the weekly quiz. So, and the weekly quiz question is on our message board. If you guys haven't checked that out, please check it out and don't miss out for this amazing quiz. I actually personally asked my manager to bring the Super Junior signed CD because it's hard to get. Yes. So yes, well done, Pat. Pat on my shoulder. <laughs> anyway, so moving on, I kind of was laughing when I first saw the intro. That would be so rude if you, you know, continuously have the gum. You know, when you chew gum, you really have to spit it out before you go into the interview. You're not gonna just like, you know, chew it forever and say like, um, so my name was no. That's rude. But anyways, so chewing gum totally helps to relieve stress. And at the same time, it helps your brain to function or your face muscle to warm up. Yes. Oh, right word. So there are some people out there who kind of like freaks out, yeah, and just freeze before the big things, such as like big exams or this like presentations or interviews. So by chewing gum. You automatically move and work your face muscles, so yeah, it's like you chew gum, right? And that can be a good warm up. And warming up is very, very important in every aspect. So, for example, performing, you know, and interviewing, recording, etc. There's so many things. Yeah, I even go to school and take. Very light warm up classes like ballet classes or contemporary doesn't really matter.、Uh, I do take classes before the recording because I know I sing, but not only just I you know、um, I cannot just like warm up my vocals. I have to like move around to relax and then I actually have to warm my body up before I do this important recording. So even last time when I told you guys that like,、um, I had to record three songs, and、uh, I took the class, contemporary ballet class in the morning, and then I went to the studio and I did the recording, and bam, it was like that. So it really helped me. So me, I kind of wore my whole body up. So I'm like that. Well, that's my way. Well, it's the exact same strategy to relieve your stress or the nervousness to calm you down a little bit by chewing gum. Yeah. All right. So here's my intro question for our listeners: Do you guys warm up? Do you guys warm up your body before the big things, such as exams or presentations or the interviews? If you do, how? Do you warm your body up? Please share some of your strategy, like I did, on our message board. I'll be waiting for your messages. And plus, what is up, everyone? So, where in the world are you listening to Sound K? Which country? Where in that country? It's set. It's eight o seven in Korea right now. It literally just turned eight o eight. And what time is it where you are? So, what are your plans for today? Tell me all about it and tell me your right. Now, so please post it up on our message board. We'll share it all together. So for your participation, if you're on Jeju Island, our FM frequencies are 80.7 in Jeju City and 80.1 in Seokgyepo City and 101.9 megahertz in Daejeon area, which is in the Jeju Global Education City. And you can also find us on TDMBID Radio. And if you have a smartphone, you can listen 
to Arirang Radio by downloading the Arirang Radio application that is available for both iPhone and, of course, Android operation systems. And be sure to check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Twitter ID is at soundk2022. And Facebook is soundk.arirang radio. And just for an uh, easier way, excuse me, just go to the Arirang radio website and click on Sound K and click again on the Twitter and Facebook icon on the right hand side. And also feel free to send us your comments, messages, questions, or song requests on the Arirang radio website. It is www. I did on radio.com slash sound K. Okay, so me uh, in the afternoon, I went to my hair salon. Yes, I don't know if you guys can't see、uh, me through the visual camera.、Uh, I cut my hair. Yes, I trimmed it. So, oh my goodness, it feels so much better. It's much lighter. Yes, it was kind of well, I have short hair, but um, you know, when you have like short, short hair, and then when your hair grows, it kind of It kind of feels heavy. So now I kind of like trim it down and it's much lighter. I love it, love it, and love the color. It's a little golden. Well, see through the camera, I can see it's a little darker when you see it through the camera. But I'm like, I'm like touching my hair.、Um, but it's much lighter when you see me in person. So I went to the hair salon and also the girl group, what's up? Yes, they were there at the same time too for their next concept. And, you know, they have to be there for all those like、uh, style and concept. To test them, you know, to test their, what is that, like,、um, you know, like colors and the design, the hair design and everything. So, even the clothing. So, yes,、uh, I went there. I saw a lot, like, every、uh, member. And plus, I really wanted to、uh, compliment, give a compliment to Chinju, one of the members. Now she is Arirang Radio family. She is the former. Uh, not former, she's now the guest for K popping, yes, and they talk about fashion. I actually monitor her well because we are under the same agency. Well, I still have a contract with SM Entertainment, but the producer that I'm working with is、uh, is called Mafia Record. So, and what's up, they are in that、um, company. So,、uh, I monitor her. And of course, she did a great, great job. She said that she was a little nervous, but I really wanted to give a big, big compliment. And she wanted me to give her a little bit of advice. Well, me, I don't know. I, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Well, I mean, you're doing a great job. So I just wanted to give a you know, big, big pat on her shoulder. And I really was proud of her. She, yeah, it turns out she was really, really nervous during the whole K popping、um, segment, the new segment. Anyways. Okay, the thing was, me, it took about an hour and a half. It was just very, very quick. So, and、uh, the hair designer, she was so good. Oh my goodness, she was and done. Okay, the thing was, Tain, one of the What's Up members,、um, she was bleaching her hair. She was bleaching several times. So, Korean hair, we have thick hair. Yes,、uh, we do have a thick roots, and also it's very hard to color them. So, a lot of artists they bleach them before they color them to get that right exact color. So, here's the thing Tain's hair, her hair melted because she bleached it so much. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it was. So I was feeling her hair. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are you gonna do with your hair? She has such a long hair. And then she, she, the brush even didn't go through her hair because it was melting. It literally, the, all the, chemi-、uh, the chemical thing, it melted her hair. So she was about to cry. Oh my goodness. I don't know. So t a i n was like, oh my gosh, what to do? And I'm like, I need to talk to the boss or something like that because our boss told them to do that. And it was just ridiculous. But, anyways, I don't know. But it looks good. But、uh, I can see that she must be, oh wow.、Mm, that's painful. But, anyways, that was my day. And then I came into a d i d a n g building, of course. I ate. Uh, with our writers, and then I ate cracker. Yes,、uh, I never have a snacks, but I kind of did today. So,、yeah. It was a corn cracker. I loved it. All right, we have Smart Via 90 from Singapore saying, Hello, Stephanie. How are you? I am great. I miss you and tuning into Sound K. I missed you too. Yesterday I went farming. 
ooh, what kind? And I really had a fun experience farming. The person in charge asked me, why do I want to participate in farming? And I told her that I really wanted to experience farming myself. I didn't get a chance to do it in the city. Have a nice day for you. And Smart Viewer, thank you very much. That's really thoughtful for you to experience those kind of things. Me, I never, I really want to do that, but hopefully in a near future. Maybe you can take me there. Thank you very much. And it is our time to listen to one more track and come back. This is Tambay Mari Short Hair by AOA. <laughs> Quiz, quiz. All right, are you guys ready for tonight's daily quiz? And here is the question. Now listen very carefully. An idol group who is coming back on October 20th with a special seventh mini album, Time, has released additional pictorial images. The group's member transformed themselves into solitary autumn men. And in their photos, they are standing against a cold and colorless background with wistful looks in their eyes. The title track of the album is called 12시 30 12.30. And it was produced by Team Good Life, member Yong Jun Young's composing team. It's a ballad full of autumn soul. This group is an idol group. But they've had many successful ballads in the past, including Piga on Naren on Rainy Days, I'm Sorry, and Ijen Anya No More. So, who is this group who are making their comeback on October 20th with their new song, Yer Tushi Sam Shipun 1230? Number one, Vix. Number two, Beast. Number three, Big Bang. Once more, number one, Vix. Number two, Beast. Number three, Big Bang. So now we'll accept only the answers written on our message board. So log on to our website, www.arirangradio.com slash soundk and leave us your answers. Of course, we'll announce the winners on our message board. So be sure to check that out. If you get the answer right, we will be giving away the sign CD of Tintop. So be sure to leave us your answers on our message board. Okay, we have a new from Tunisia saying, To Anni, long time no see. Hello, cutie. How are you? I am doing well in my second year at university. Mm. My new teachers are kind and hardworking, and most of the subjects are hard, but I am trying my best. Thank you very much for sharing that, and good luck. And we have Beauty Olfa from Tunisia saying hello, hello. Hello, Ani. I missed you a lot. I couldn't tune in for a long time. I'm really happy to listen to your sweet voice again, Ani. You still remember me? Of course. I told you this before. I told you that not that's not even a question. Of course, I know you, Olfa. Don't worry. And thank you very much for tuning in. We have Arima Kumara from Indonesia saying hello. Hello, hello, DJ Stephanie. It's been a while since my last message on my on the message board. Do you miss me, Stephanie? I miss every single one of you, seriously. Well, anyways, I write heart-to-heart -heart message, okay? And please don't forget to read it. Thank you, DJ Stephanie. Yes, I thank you very, very much. Okay, so a lot of participation on our message board for the daily quiz. And also, you guys know we have a weekly quiz going on. And we have Teen Top Science CD for the daily and Super Junior Science CD for the weekly quiz. So a lot of participation on our message board. Let's listen to more tracks. The first one is Arrow by Vix. Ooh, the, the new one. And followed by OK by Crayon Pop. That's really, really cute, cute song. All right, so um, I'm going to share some information. It's about 2014 Hello Kuga concert. Yes, Arirang Radio concert in celebration of the National Sports Festival at 7 p.m. in Korean time, Tuesday on October 21st at Jeju Culture and Arts Center Grand Theater. Hosted by Lisa Kelly, and we have artists, amazing artists, Kim Young-woo, Bagheri, and Papin Hyunjun, Song Soo-hee, AUX, Kwangetu Sabunlori, and Hana Arts Company. 
Tickets are available on October 6th at the Jeju Institute for Audiovisual Production and Research. And two tickets limit per person, and ticket holders will be seated on the first come, first served basis. And children under 10 years old will not be entered. I'm sorry about that. And all the proceeds made from the concert will be donated to a social welfare organization in Jeju. Hosted by Arirang Radio and the Jeju Institute for Audiovisual Production and Research, and supported by Jeju's special self governing province. We have Asia 96 from Burgar. Are you saying hello? Hello, beautiful DJ Stephanie and Sound K listeners. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Only it's uh, 2 p.m. here in Bulgaria, and I am really getting crazy because I've got a chemistry lesson in 40 minutes. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I won't be able to listen to the second hour today. By the way, wish success on the new corner today. Thank you very much. And give me kind regards to Benji and Jesse. Will do, Asya. Thank you very much. And good luck on your chemistry class. Oh, chemistry. And Lisa Wu from UK. Hello, how are you? I missed you. So happy Wednesday, Stephanie and Sam K. Wow, so many new segments for this autumn. I am not sure which to pick, but they are all so cool. Thank you very much. And credit to the writers and the producer. You're exactly right. How are you, Stephanie? Mm, me, I am great as always. So these days, I'm kind of busy. Getting busier, yeah, keeping up with all this work. But uh, now I have a concern, um, worries about the the scope that I will, if I have a chance, that I will share my problem with our listeners. But who, because I'm running out of time these days, and well, I'm running everywhere. Anyways, I am good. Thank you for asking. I just want to wish you all the best for the new segment. Thank you, and looking forward to see Jesse and Benzi in our studio. Yes. We have a Tamitra from USA. Hello. Hello, Tamitra. I missed you so, so much. How are you? Hello, DJ Stephanie and the Sound K family for your intro question. For anything big, I warm up my mind and a heart with prayer. That's a good thing. Warming up is important. Anything physical, I took a basic jazz, tap, ballet in college. Look at that. You're multi talented and i warm up before exercising and before auditions and your hair looks great by the way oh, thank you have a great day and please accept a gift at the studio for your birthday Ooh. oh thank you very much no you don't really have to um send any kind of a birthday gift i please don't don't make me feel sorry yes but tammy tara thank you very much for yes uh, noticing my hair there you go. We have a side up from Tunisia saying, hey, hey, hey. Today is my love's birthday, Tonge. Oh, it is Tonge's birthday. Yes, his birthday is a day before mine. Uh, wish him a very happy birthday and wish him a lot of happiness and success. I really love him and wish him the best. Hope he can hear my message. I'm sure he'll do. And we have Howell from USA. Good morning from Atlanta. So, hello, Stephanie. I warm up by some gentle stretches and by saying tongue twisters, usually. Tongue twisters? Huh. In high school, I used to just accept a failing grade and not do presentations because I was stressed about them so much. Oh, you just didn't care about that? Oh. Huh. Why not? I like your hair. Thank you. I've been growing my hair out for the couple of years and I miss it being short. I laughed when you play short hair after talk talk. Yes, that talk. Yes, of course. It's perfect. Perfect song. Today is supposed to be my off day at work, but I am ahead of my division. So they need me to come in this morning and I have to leave in a bit. So I am going to miss the second hour. I'm upset about that. Don't be upset. Do we be here? And thank you very much. Always supporting our show. Okay, so. It is our time to listen to one more track and come back. This is Before the Rain by Bernard Park. Welcome. Welcome. It's time for Sound K. Yeah. All right, what's good, Stephanie? Take it over. Yes, today we have our new corner, Heart to Heart. 
hard, hard, where we help you understand what's going through the mind of that girl or guy who's got hold of your heart. The ladies will be represented by Jesse. And Benji will be speaking for the gentlemen. They are standing by and ready to give you the love advice. So don't hesitate to join us on our message board. Okay, so for the star date on this week on th Thursday, we are going to invite Mings into our studio. So please make sure to support our guest with a lot of love and messages plus the questions on our message board. And as you guys know, we do have weekly quiz going on. And for the prize, we do have the Super Juniors assignment. CD. So please participate. It is www.adirangradio.com slash sound K. Okay, um, we have uh, so long from Aldrin Tierna saying hello. Hello, Stephanie. I love your show. And why am I seeing Mama Sita album there? I want it. There you go. So you can participate for the weekly quiz. Yes, weekly quiz is only on our homepage. I don't do it on my live show. So please, you have to make sure to check our homepage. And it's right there. The question is right on our website. So thank you for your great show. Thank you very much for listening. And I'm still waking up here 8.17 a.m. That's early. And it's good to hear you always for it. Regard from Argentina. So long or so long. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Thank you. And Yasin from Morocco saying, uh, Hello, Stephanie Nuna. Hello, hello. First of all, you look gorgeous as usual. <laughs> Thank you. And I really missed you. I missed you too. And uh, second and concerning the intro question. Okay, about the intro, my way to warm up is to really stress before the big thing is to recall a sweet and happy memory. That's a really good idea, which is really helpful to make you feel warm and safe and more confident. Or I just keep moving so I don't get negative thoughts about how will I do and all. Okay, so seems like you are really really doing a great great job controlling your mind you know what sometimes have a uh, people have a trouble to you know to become stronger with their mentality but you are doing the right thing so thank you very much for sharing that so you guys are you guys ready so your everyday thoughts turn into a great line on this on the radio with blah 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 listen to today's topic and tell us what it means to you in the sentence so to me blank is blah 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 and here we go today's topic is have it okay so we are going to talk about habit me good habit is i always think positive my bad habit is i worry too much i worry about everything and i think too much which led to insomnia so to me, habit is hmm evidence or evidences of my life. Do you guys get it? It's like um I be living with these habits and uh, you know what? Um I cannot really you know throw these things or get rid of these things. It's just habit, right? So if you guys want to share your habit, so please complete the sentence. And especially on that blank. To me, habit is blah, 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 right? So please post it up on our message board. It is arirangradio.com slash sound K. Let's listen to one more track and come back. This is Dictator Molaya Wolf is Stupid by Tint featuring Chanji of Tint Top. Wow, that song really is incredible. Welcome back, everyone. That was Kuge Naya, That's Me by Kim Dong Ryu. Amazing song. Whew. Okay, so we have 143 Ron Sel from Philippines saying, Message, message, message. DJ Stephanie, wish you a great, great evening tonight. And I love the song Error by Vex. Thank you for saying that. So thank you for playing the song. Of course. Hmm. Well, I gotta go to kitchen because I will be taking my dinner with my whole family. DJ Stephanie, let's eat now. Let's go. Take me. Oh my goodness. All of the sun, I'm getting hungry. But good. I mean, uh, have a good time with your family. That's really nice. We have a hell from USA. So blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. To me, habit is defining trait Ooh, about a person. Something embarrassing. I still have a habit of sucking my thumb in my sleep. Are you serious? 
wow, are you serious? And uh, I am trying to break my son of uh, of the same habit. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. But I cannot break it myself. Don't have to. It's okay. People see me as a child because of this. At the same time, I have a good habit of brushing my teeth a lot. Me too. Yeah, I'm like kind of obsessed with that. So welcome to my world. Uh, weak teeth uh, run in my family. So I will probably have a dentor dentures by 24. Oh, no. No, but I still brush my teeth more daily than the rest of my family combined. I see. Wow, that really got me. You suck your thumb. I mean, why not? That's a little cute side of you. Yes. And we have Lollipop 501 from Saudi Arabia. Blah, blah, blah. So to me, my uh, good habit is, uh, doesn't say it. <laughs> My bad habit uh, is uh, you cry easily. Okay, so you know what? Crying, hmm. I don't know. I cry a lot too. Yeah, I cry really easily. Just watching the variety program, I cry a lot too. So, Noor, I don't think that's a bad habit. It's just one of the habits, right? Yeah, it's a little girly. Why not? Noor, thank you very, very much for saying that. And we have Bochin Sour 80s from Iceland saying, Hello, Annie, I'm here. Work is busy, 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 but I'm tuning in. Thank you very much. Today is my dad's birthday. Ooh. Happy birthday, Dad! And happy birthday, Daddy, to you from you. Yes, and I cannot wait for today's heart to heart to put in a good word for me, Unni. <laughs> okay. Anyway, shout out to the staff, everyone, and love from Iceland. Thank you very much for supporting our show. And Scott Tunisia also saying. From Tunisia, I'm saying happy birthday, Tungi, and happy birthday to me. Yes, tomorrow is my birthday. Thank you very much, Skander from Tunisia. All right, so whoo, it is our time to wrap up the first part of the show, but I'll be back on part two with a new corner and Jesse and Benzi in our studio. I will see you guys on part two. This is Love is Pain by Tangi Young featuring Kimmy. Yes, yes, yes. So welcome back, everyone. The second part of Sound K has started. It is Wednesday. I am so excited. October 15th, 2014. And you can enjoy your morning, afternoon, or evening with me on Sound K. And for Heart to Heart, kicking off the second part of the Tonight Show. As guys you know, we have a new members. We have Jesse and Benzi in our studio. But before we invite them, what I'm going to do is recap tonight's daily quiz for those of you who missed it. So listen very carefully. An idol group who is coming back on October 20th with a special 7th mini album, Time, has released additional pictorial images. The group's member transformed themselves into solitary Ottoman. And in their photos, they are standing against a cold and colorless backgrounds with wistful looks in their eyes. And the title track of this album is called 12.30 and it was produced by Team Good Life, a member Yong Jun Young's composing team, and it's a ballad full of autumn soul. So this group is an idol group but they've they had uh, many successful ballads in the past, including Piga Onan on Rainy Days, I'm Sorry, and Ijen Anya, No More. So, who is this member who are making their comeback on October 20th with their new song, Yak Dushi 30? Number one, Vix. Number two, Beast. Number three, Big Bang. So we'll accept only the answers written on our message board. So log on to our website, arirangradio.com slash soundk, and leave us your answers. This this time, excuse me, we are going to give away the signed CD of Teen Top. It's right in front of me. So don't forget to participate on our message board. We have a Kate Shi from Australia. So uh, I forgot to read your message about the habit. To me, habit is something I live by. It's a part of my personality. And my good habit is uh, managing to stay positive. Oh, that's good. And making sure I think clearly. So, but my bad habit is something being too positive. 
Yeah. <laughs> so if、uh, there's a, something urgent、uh, coming up, I only realize it's not looking good. Too late. I'm trying to change it though. Ha ha ha. Kate, she from Australia. Really cute message. Thank you very much. And it is our time to take a music break and come back and invite this amazing gal and boy in our studio. This is Anyang Asia. Hello, by Big. Heart to heart. No matter how old you are or where you live, we all have the same question: What is he thinking? What's she thinking? No matter how hard you try, you will never figure out men and women. <laughs> so we've got Jesse to speak for the ladies. Yeah. And Benji to represent the homies.、Ooh. We're here to help you with all your questions on love. Heart to heart. Yeah. 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 This yeah. Is so awkward. <laughs> We were like practicing hard. <laughs> I know the timing, the、It's、timing.、Hard. But you know what? High five, high five, everyone!、Yay. Good job, good job. Oh my goodness! So this is the new segment corner. Yes,、mm. I actually love this. I love, love this corner. Love, I love coming to interviews with you. You know what? The th- the thing was, you had no idea what was、uh, this corner about, right? Nope, Before no you idea. came, no idea. <laughs> I just came. My body just came. <laughs> Seriously, so how do you feel? I mean, I interviewed you not too long ago,、mm-hmm. and it was really good to was, see you. Very... So I was like, Jesse, let's invite Jesse again. So <laughs> now you two are the former guest. I'm not former now. The the regular guest, yes, the panel、Ooh. guest. So、nice. I'm honored. I'm Thank honored. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just to be able to work with Stephanie on it.、Oh. Let's go, Adi. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so Benji, I heard that B I G. It's it's hundredth day. This is、today? our hundredth day since we debuted. Okay,、oh、we gotta celebrate. On, celebrate. Celebrate. Shukadida. Congratulations. 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 So Seriously.、Wow. So. How's you been? How's you been? And how do you feel about this corner? Oh, oh. I'm so honored to be here、Are、with、you? two lovely ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Such an honor. <laughs> you know, it's great seeing you again. Yeah, seriously. Seeing you. Yes, I've seen him in、uh, performances a lot. Oh, that's、days. good to hear. Yes, because、so、I know、familiar. I kind of sense that you know、uh, this、uh, collaboration will be very interesting. Because all three of us, we do have different perspective. Seriously, of course we do. So、oh, yeah. um, I think it's a great, great opportunity for us to give our listeners help、yes. with our own perspective.、Yes. So it's about love. So have you guys ever have a love、um, problem that you can like briefly share, like short, like a little bit before、short、we、problem. share?、Mm. Mm-hmm. For me to start off, I mean, okay.、Let's、first、go. of all, I'm twenty、mm-hmm. seven, so. I could say I could talk about love, right? Of course. Well, okay.、Um, If it's PG thirteen, <laughs>、yeah. if it's a PG thirteen, yes.、Uh, for me, I've been in a couple of relationships.、Mm-hmm. I mean, but nothing too serious. I'm usually the type to be in a really long term relationship. Oh、so. wow!、Mm-hmm. See, yeah, I I get in love when I'm in love. Too、so. much. You、yeah. get like too into yeah, it. I get attached. Oh my goodness!、So、How- it could be kind of bad. Yeah, sometimes that's kind of dangerous. There's pros and cons into that. Yeah, yeah of course. And how about you, Benji? Me, I mean, I'm 22,、uh-huh. you know, and、But、I didn't have a lot of relationship experience.、Mm-hmm. So. Are you, know. you sure? Are you sure? I mean, I mean, no, no, <laughs> no. But <laughs> it means quite a lot. So are you? But you think that you'd be a good advice? Oh yeah, good definitely. Advice. I mean, I've seen a lot of other people's relationships. And、unfold. then you gave them advices. Oh yeah, I gave them advice. Oh, especially because we're all from America,、so. from the states.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it would be, be very interesting.、Yeah. Okay, so on our message board, please, everyone, share, or you can just say hello to our lovely guests. We have. Jesse from Lucky J and、Hello. Benji from B I G. Okay,、mm. so、um, before we start, actually we have a new listener, Kate Shi. Well, actually I shared your message right before from Australia. Hello, DJ Stephanie. It's my first time tuning in today. Let's say hello to Kate. Hello, Kate. Hello, hey, Kate. Up, Kate. Hi, sweetie. Hello, and I、Hi. am enjoying it a lot. And Heart Hot sounds so fun. And I'm in my first year of the university, and exams are. In less than four weeks. Wow, that's coming. 
So I am starting to study hard. Yes, good luck on your school and uh, the test. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. And Swinder from Philippines saying, Hello, DJ Stephanie. I'm really excited for the second hour because of Jessie, especially. Ooh. Thank you. I really, I really <laughs> like her. <laughs> I really like I really her. I really like her. <laughs> She's so cool and cute. And I watched uh, After Show Live twice mm -hmm. before uh, because of you. Oh, oh wow. Because wow. of you. Wow, look at that. Her Girl. smile is really, really cute. And her Thank voice you. is oh, amazing. You so Thank you. Yeah, that is right. That's what I'll do. And this is Sore97 from Saudi Arabia saying good evening, everyone. It's me again. I'm Sarah. Say hello to Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, hello Sarah. Sarah. Hello, Stephanie, Jesse, and Benzi. I hope we will have a great time with you guys. I cannot wait to actually get to that messages i promise you guys that i will tune into a show every wednesday thank you very much thank you and yes benji i am so excited that my favorite boy band are Ooh. coming back big yes that's you guys true. are coming back we are coming back soon with our second single you guys will be so busy oh my goodness look forward to it and be I'm, excited yeah yes yeah show big lots of love lots of love all right so let's <laughs> get to the point yes. are you guys ready for heart to heart let's yeah. Yeah, do it. Let's go. Okay, this is the first message that uh, we received from Hoshi Nirna. Okay, from uh, what, from where? What is this? Croatia. Uh, Croatia. I was like, H uh, R V A T S K. <laughs> Come out, <laughs> Croatia. Thank you very much, Benji. You already did your job. Thank you. Okay, so. Heart to heart. This is a bit embarrassing, but I don't know whom to talk to about this. Okay, so you are in the right track. Okay, so there's this guy in um, my friend's circle who always calls me, wants to hang out all the time, and even invites me home. And we are just friends. Invite home, but you guys, okay, okay. But I feel a bit awkward and embarrassed. I do like him as a friend. But nothing more. Mm. And I have no idea uh, what he thinks of me. Maybe my uh, assumption are wrong. Maybe he is just bored and uh, doesn't have anyone else to hang out with. But what should I do if he does like me? Because I like another guy. Oh. You know what? Um, If you like another guy, that's no problem. But the thing is, I just am a little um, afraid that he is just playing a game. Yeah, to invite mm. you and in a you know to to invite. I think me. so too. Yeah, think... him into oh, so so we need a guy's perspective. I so mean... what? Why do you guys do that? Why I do... know guys are so. <laughs> Why do you guys want to invite girls that even you don't have any? I don't know that we, uh, uh, we are not sure that if this guy have a you know interested in our listener. But mm. do you think he's interested in her? I mean, I was when I first heard it says you know he's calling her, he wants to hang out. I was like, oh, okay, you know that's chill, you know whatever. And then he wants to invite her home, and I was like, what? <laughs> it's oh, that's so a little it's, weird. That's oh, that's, that's kind of weird. That's I weird. Uh, oh, that's weird. Even, even, even by yeah, guy. even for guys, it's like it's very. You know what? I actually genu genuinely think the guy likes her. Uh huh. But then, if you, like she says, uh, there is the friends are in within the group, right? The circle, uh huh? So I think that's kind of out of line. Mm -hmm. So what to invite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, that's just wrong. I so, see. I see. Mm -hmm. You know what, um, Erna? My uh, opinion is he is doing this to other girls too. I think. If he likes uh, you, I think he will make very obvious move. But thing is, you already uh, like another guy, mm -hmm. so I don't know why you are hesitating. Yeah, mm, that's true. That's my question. That's, that's my question for Erna. But uh, um, I think um, if you are kind of like struggling and if you are, you, if you have feelings for him, I think you know that's then you guys don't have a problem. You guys can like talk and then yes. maybe being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But the thing is. He is, you know, you guys, all your friends know. So uh, what I'm afraid of is if you just make one mistake at his place, yeah, yeah. then people's going to talk about. Mm, Do you guys true. agree with me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so you, you know what I'm talking but about. But see, the thing is, so Erna, mm -hmm. that's her name, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
How old is she? Uh, we have we don't, we don't know, know the that. details, but generally we are going to mm. like a, yeah give a lot of you know like big perspective. I think if you're if she's kind of relatively still young, mm-hmm. I think meeting guys here and there, not like like flat out like meeting guys, mm-hmm. but I think having experiences, yeah, experiences. I think that's totally fine. But I don't I don't know about this situation. I think the guy is definitely like you said mm-hmm. is kind of playing with her. But I, I also well, think we don't that, know. Yeah, we don't yeah, know, we don't about know about that, that. the details. But uh-huh. just from what I see, I think the guy is kind of a little, I don't know. <laughs> a little out of the line. Yeah. A little, little farther than yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. what he's supposed to do. But yeah, I kind of think so. How about you, Ben? I mean, I think in the situation, the guy, I mean, she says she likes another guy, right? Mm-hmm. So I think this guy technically, to a certain extent, is not as relevant as mm-hmm. it should be. I mean... If she likes another guy, then mm-hmm. this guy she can you know you can she can always just reject him or just be like oh you know I, I don't want to really hang out you know we yeah, can yeah, yeah, chill yeah. but you know I like well this they're other in the guy. same circle that's the problem or maybe she see could... that's how guys are you know what you what know what? and also are. the friendship is friendship is really really important as a girls because um, I know guys think you guys can just chill like oh whatever but girls we get into fights because of the relationship catty yeah we get really catty yeah. so once you have a problem with those this kind of thing they're really <laughs> <I'm> sorry <laughs> are you okay are yeah. you okay he's I'll getting a sure. little intimate i know he's like I'm i mean sorry. it is two on one remember that everybody it's two yeah. girls versus one guy i was kind of scared yes yeah, so, so i mean <laughs> I, so my um recommendation is that if you don't have any feelings for this guy don't play at his place just play in that you know circle with a bunch of people yes mm-hmm. and uh, make a confession uh, to the guy that you like yes mm. girl you really have to step up because girls are complicated so it if does. you just do like oh I can hang out with you but I like this guy then people's gonna talk about you yes oh yeah yes this yes. is so much fun this is, <laughs> I have so much to say but I'm just kind of gonna you know, <laughs> yes keep it PG for now for now PG-13 PG-13 <laughs> okay um, <laughs> it's bad yes please please thank you very much for saying that yes um, uh, Erna from Koreatia thank you very much aka Republika Hrubaturka okay there you go nice I try to pronounce it yes, anyway so nice. it is our time to take a music break and come back this is your song Tulini can you hear by Lucky J we'll be back let's go Amazing song. That was Delini. Can you hear it by Lucky J? Okay, Ooh. we have a Joanna one two eight Z from USA saying Jesse and Benji. Hello, DJ Stephanie and Jesse and Benji. Hello. Welcome to Sound K family. Now you guys are family. Oh, yeah, look at that. How warm is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so warm and lovey dovey. <laughs> so super excited for this segment and all the best. Are you guys laughing at me? Yes, I love you guys. Um, <laughs> lots of love support from USA. Thank you very much, Joanna. And we have uh, Yasmin from USA. So heart to heart. Hello to Benji, f- first of all, and happy 100th day since debut. Woo! Congratulations. So, hi, would you, how would you confess uh, to someone that you like? Oh, that was a random oh, question. That's the right. <laughs> I know. How, like... how are you going to confess, Benji? How am I going to confess? I mean, you know, grab flowers, grab a bottle of champagne, you know, the whole candle. Don't, don't be away from the I'm mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, prepare a whole event sing a song make it really romantic are you serious no that's cheesy yeah i don't, I don't do that <laughs> that's <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> that cheesy come on no i mean i'm just very direct you know if i like a girl i'll just go up to her and be like you know i really like you, you know? mm-hmm. oh you do that yeah are, can you do that no jesse i can do that oh you can i cannot oh you can see we have very similar personalities well, i think me I like jokingly i yeah. would do it i'm like you know what we can just like go out yeah yeah but not like oh my goodness i'm in love with you yeah yeah no no no, no i used not. to do that when i was younger no i'm sure i'm sure yeah but i'm 28 so yeah no, no more. No, 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 no. No, no, that's a big no, no. They got to come to us. Yes. Come to us. Come to us. <laughs> yeah, that exists. <laughs> and we have a Nat Citra 98 from Singapore saying, Benji, Banyangaseo, and Jesse. So, how do you feel today? Is it a special day today? And have you seen the bracelet and a paper crane jar? Did, uh, did you get the present? Yeah, we did get it. We oh. got it. 
There you go. They got it. We got 사랑합니다. It. Thank you so much. I love much. you. Where Very. are our presents? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Jada, why no presents? Why no presents? I'm just kidding. <laughs> On your 100th day. Okay, we will. Or 200 days. I know. Maybe like three. 2,000 <laughs> days. <laughs> Come on, come on, don't <laughs> be too I'm about just that. kidding. Okay, we have a regime from Philippines saying, nice segment. Hello, DJ Stephanie. Hello, Jesse and Benji. This segment is so nice. I got to learn new things. Yes, mm. and we get to learn new things too. Mm -hmm. Understanding a situation based on different perspective. Really nice. Okay, so let's move on. Benji, it's your turn. All right, and we have Ravincha uh -huh. from Tunisia. Mm -hmm. And she said, one of my close friends has a crush on me and he's confessed several times. Oh! But I consider him as a bro. Oh my goodness. Ooh. So, shall I just tell him that I have no feelings for him or just ignore what he tells me in texts? Ugh, I'm confused. We've been friends since our primary school. Oh my goodness. And why do I consider all boys as my bro? Am I strange or simply ununique? You know what? This is so weird because I have all guy friends. I don't really have much girlfriends because yeah, I'm I very. Uh -huh. Right? You, I you understand too. that. So it's like <laughs> all of my guy friends, if. If someone happens to like me, they're like my guy friends. Mm -hmm. So it's like the most awkward moment ever. And then after that happens, I can't be friends with them anymore. Okay, so you wow. consider them to be like a bro. Like, like exactly. literally a brother. Okay, so how do you feel? Did you get ever confessed from the other like random guys? Of course. Okay, so how did you feel about that? Um, very awkward. First <laughs> of all, it's very awkward and like... So it's like dot, dot, Yeah, dot. yeah. Because, you know, for me, I think of him as like a family. Right. But the other way around, uh -huh. they have like a feel... They have feelings Ooh. for me. So it's kind of like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a really weird feeling. Like, it's like your own brother is yeah. making a confession to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that weird? It is weird. Oh. And then and then at that point, I can't be friends with them anymore. You cannot. Yeah. Okay, that's, so... That's my personality. So then it just kind of, like, drifts apart. And... Yeah. But you know what, Ravinta? This is my question. If, um... Uh, mm, so after the confession, she is fine with that. But okay, she's okay. just worried. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. She's just worried that if she's gonna, you know, she have to say that uh, if she has no feelings for him, or just to ignore. But I think ignore is just not a good idea. Yeah. No, it's no, not. It's no, 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 no. So, um, Jesse, um, did you tell them that after, even after the confession? I know that you cannot be mm -hmm. like friends anymore. Mm -hmm. But after the confession, have you ever say that? Um, that um, you know, I don't really have feelings for you. Of course, of course. Okay, so you confronted. Of course, of course. Okay. I definitely have to confront because they're my friends. So I don't just like leave them cold turkey. Like, oh, we can't be friends anymore. Yeah, leaving. Yeah. I think that's not a good idea. No, no, no. But I think it depend depending on how close their friendship is. Mm -hmm. Like, if they're like really tight, like really primary close. school. I mean, but. <laughs> mm, I guess I guess they go way back. <laughs> Primary but school. You know how when you're younger, uh -huh. like uh, you go to school together and you have like a crush. Mm -hmm. Like I think it's kind of like one of those. And I think usually when a guy and a girl they're too close, one of them happen to end up liking each other. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I totally know where that comes and, from. And yeah, my uh, really good friend of mine, um, they are you know married couple, and mm -hmm. they knew each other since the primary school. Oh wow! Yes, and uh, they were I don't know high school sweethearts mm -hmm. maybe. Aww. And after that, uh, they got married, and mm -hmm. they're Aww. you know friends, and they're really having a good relationship till now. They have a child, and you know it's a it's a they created this like whole like worm. You know, family. Mm -hmm. But the problem here with Ravincha is, you know, she doesn't have any feelings for him. It's just like she's afraid to have a maybe um to have awkwardness with him, like yeah. just like yeah, you. Just like Jesse. my situation. Mm -hmm. So how about Benji? So guys from guys, have you ever experienced this? So like from the uh, like primary or like when mm -hmm. you're like kindergarten sure. maybe. Yeah. Uh, you you have a crush on someone, <laughs> or you did not have a crush on this girl, but when you as you grow up, mm -hmm. you, later on you have feelings for her. Yeah. Have, have that happened? Yeah, that's happened to me before. Oh, of course, I mean, it happens I all the time. Really? Yeah. Doesn't happen to me. I'm sorry. You, it didn't happen to you in middle <laughs> school. Really? No. Actually, I, me. Funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. Me. I don't know. For him, I think he's lying. Uh, you're not lying, right? Well, I mean, you? I move schools around a lot, but there was. I remember there was this one time where there was this girl that, like, when I first met her, I was just like, oh, you know, whatever, she's chill and stuff. Uh -huh. And then as time kind of went, I was like, oh, you, you know, had a I kind of like this girl. Uh huh. And then nothing really kind of happened because, you know. You didn't make a confession. Yeah, I never actually made the move. 
Yeah. At that time, I was too nervous. You okay, win. so <laughs> so most of the guys that we the guys need that that boldness or like that strength to actually the courage. Co- yeah. to courage to come up to her and then say that I like you, right? Yes. And he's done it several times. So what what do you think? Um, she should do. I mean, if he's confessed it several times, but then she it says I haven't told him that I ha- don't have feelings for him. Right. Then what has she been telling him the past few times that he's been confessing? Maybe she like, was just like joking around. She's like, oh come on, it's like kind of awkward or something like that. But actually, we need like conclusion for this to help Ravencha here. So, I think. I- So guys, do you guys get hurt? <laughs> do, we, do you guys get hurt? I mean, are we no, human? no, I mean, no, you know. <laughs> we are I mean, human you know, emotions, pff, you know. No, I'm you know a robot. Nah. <laughs> Not really. I, I right? get hurt really easily. Well, we are... Not yeah. even just relationship-wise, mm-hmm. just in general. I'm I'm a oil, so like... Blood type O. Blood, blood type O, but mm-hmm. I, you know... From the outside, mm-hmm. I look really like tough. No, and it's stuff. not really. No. Just but it deep down inside, we're very emotional. Yeah, mm-hmm. I knew you since. Yes, we go way back. I used to go to high, high school, school with her. Wow. So, so I know you. So yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what you're going through. But it's just like uh, Ravincha. For me, my own opinion is mm-hmm. to actually say that in a nice way. You have to say uh, what you really think. You have to say it. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like. You, but not like oh my gosh stop bugging me you know it's not like that don't be mean because wow. you guys are friends but just saying that you know I, I really I thought about it but I really don't have feelings for you mm-hmm. but like, do you know that one movie a long time ago I forgot what it was called it was like Kate and some do you know what I'm talking about you have to it's say like more than K oh, yeah but I'm gonna need more than K to go <laughs> off of So it's pretty much to long story short. It's about a relationship. This is based on a true story. Okay, uh, is it they, Korean? They we were just friends. They actually didn't like each other. Okay, but um, oh gosh, how come I don't remember? It's a K movie or is it's a Korean like, movie or no? It's an American movie. It's a very old film, but it's a based on a true story. But it's this seems this reminds me of that movie. Okay, so what happened? In pretty movie? much in long story short, she. They both don't like each other, and the guy kind of likes her. Okay. But at the end, she's like, "Oh, you're just a friend. Like I can't." But then, in time, uh-huh. within ten years, they ended up getting married. Okay, so, so we uh, never know. So that's my conclusion: is that you just never know. And I think that still, if she's still kind of young, mm-hmm. and you know, she says as of now, she doesn't have any feelings mm-hmm. for this guy. But I think, um, I think she should try it. You know. Try to I, uh, okay, Ravincha. Get, do you mm. you don't speak I know, Korean? No, sorry. <laughs> so, um, Ravincha, do you have feelings for him? That's the big. Pro- that's I think that will be the key point here. The key word. If you like him, then there's no you know um, then there's no problem. But are you like? Do you consider him as a boyfriend? Like even like once? <laughs> like can you even imagine? Like can you even yeah. imagine? If not, then you definitely have to say it. Yes, I believe so I think too. Definitely, as a guy. Yeah. Knowing like a girl and like having confessed to a girl, but her not giving a clear answer is one of the like the worst things that you can exactly. have happen to you. Exactly. Girls do that. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't Why know. do you guys do that? I don't. Do, I'm sorry. Why do you do that, Oni? I don't do that. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't. I'm like just cut. I'm like sorry. I don't have any feelings for you. I I'm don't do that. Way. I don't make the guys to be clinger or anything. I just don't. Mm, no, 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 no. That's not my thing. Mm-hmm. So I just give them the straightforward, like bold opinion or like like my thoughts. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And girls, guys get usually confused by this kind of stuff. Yeah. So Ravincha, you really have to step up and say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, say it. What you really have to say it. So like Benji said, um, guys get confused. So he will like keep like continue. He's gonna continue to try. Yeah. try. And how you know that's oh that's sad. That's sad. That really is sad. So you just gotta be upfront. I think. Yeah. Well, the story. Think. All right. So oh my goodness. Who we talked a lot. We did. <laughs> All right. So it is our time to take a one more music break and come back. This is Ho oh, Perfect Song. 사랑의 빠져 Love Toxic by Royal Pirates. We'll be back. 
Yes, welcome back everyone. You're listening to Sound K and I'm your DJ Stephanie. For Heart to Heart, we do have Jesse and Benji in our studio. Yeah. And, Hello. And the last song was 사랑에 빠져 Love Toxic by Royal Parts. So to give an, an idea once more about our segment, we are going to talk about love. If you guys have any kind of a love or some kind of occasion and situation and you need girls or guys perspective, like bold truth. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are here to give you the advices but the thing is uh, we don't have a chance to read all the messages we gather up and then we pick mm-hmm. we randomly choose the winner and then give away the signed CD but we pick the random messages also so I know this is kind of shame on me I'm sorry I really apologize I really want to I wish I can like read all the messages that we me receive too. but we actually have to like spend time to actually solve the actual problem Problem. Mm-hmm. So we decided to um, take a time and then pick several of the messages. Mm-hmm. But you know what? For the prizes, I know a lot of our uh, listeners are uh, waiting for the prizes. And then and me from now on, uh, we are going to uh, we will try to bring more good uh, prizes for the science CD also. So this is not a this is the first uh, time that we do this rerun this segment. But this is not the only time that you have chance to win the prizes. So Mm-mm. a lot of participation from now on, and hopefully you guys na- like our segment. Mm-hmm. All right, so Jesse, Jesse, it's your turn, girl. Navy, Ooh. hello, Navy, hello from Indonesia. Mm-hmm. So. Hello, Jesse and Benji. I'm from Indonesia. Mm-hmm. There is something in my mind. Okay. I think that it's not important to me, but it's, it's disturbing. Okay. I have an ex-boyfriend. He said that he still loves me and still likes me. Oh. But I'm too tired to be with him. Ooh. I almost two years with him. I was, with two, I was with him for two years. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. But then wow. we ended up breaking up. Two years. In the past, I think I, I still also still love him, but mm. I decide mm-hmm. to let that feelings go okay. and, and meet a new date. Sometimes I feel lonely and think again, was I still love? Oh. On another thought, when wh- was when I think I really was close with this boy, uh-huh. his friend said that he liked me. Oh. Ooh, What's going dang. on? Oh, I, <laughs> I think I like him too, actually. But suddenly his friend said to me that he would step out to be my out to be my boy. Because okay. he think that I, he thinks that I don't want to look for a boyfriend, and now he takes a distance. Don't you think that he loves me? Whoa! No, no, no. He's not in love with you. Whoa. He's not. No, 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 no. Navy, 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 no. Navy. You already uh, had a two years of a relationship with uh, his good buddy. <laughs> so, so oh my, uh, no, no, no. He's in that. Sorry, don't take me wrong. But it's uh, it's this is this guy knows each other. That's what basically she's saying? I think so. Mm. So your ex-boyfriend and mm. there's another friend. Yes. So there's a two guys and there's one girl, which is Navy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, this is the ex-boyfriend and there's another guy saying that I like you, Navy. Mm-hmm. And then now he's a taking a distance. So uh. what? Uh, Navy, I think y- don't date him. Don't even consider him Wait, as Wait, so a- they're both friends, right? I think they're both friends. No, don't date him. Yeah, no, Navy, please, no, no. Yeah. please take my advice. Don't so, date him. You know, you know what I'm talking yes. about. So, okay, so two guys, you know, two guys, and if you have a, a relationship with one person, mm-hmm. if these two are two friends, don't date another guy. No, 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 that's a big no, no. And you mm-hmm. dated him for two years. Yes, that's a love. And if they're friends. You don't want to jeopardize your friendship. No, sure. no, 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 no. And you know what? It's okay. So he probably knew <laughs> that that his friend dated mm-hmm. this girl. He must have. Right? Then why this guy asked her uh, or, or said that he likes her? Why do you guys do that? See, guys are just mm. wrong. I think... <laughs> Oh. Guys are just, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I think I might know why he did it. Why? But why? it's not very PG-13-esque. Oh, I it's mean, like, it can be, it can be. I mean, I mean, maybe he thought he saw an opportunity there for something. Uh, to that, oh, maybe, did you flirt with that guy, Navy? Maybe. I mean, not necessarily maybe. like, you know, she flirted with him, mm-hmm. but maybe, you know, 
he saw that after they broke up, like she looked upset or something, and he's like, all right, maybe it's my time to move in, or maybe you know. See, that's what guys do. Because I okay, I don't do that, but I know there are guys that do that. <laughs> I know, I know there are guys, guys that do that. that. They try to make the move right after their relationship ends, and they think it's my turn. Yeah, it's yeah, my yeah. turn. People but, do that. All guys do. Yeah. Uh, not all guys. And it's usually the friends. <laughs> the friends. <laughs> what are you pointing at me? No, 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 no. Sorry, you were the only guy here, so I didn't know <laughs> to point that. <laughs> Sorry. But, anyway. but yes. Okay. Um. So let's. Uh, my Don't goodness. do it. Mm. Yeah. Let's organize. So. Okay. So you like uh, y- if you don't have a feelings, um, then don't even bother to think mm-hmm. about him, mm-hmm. the friend, and your ex boyfriend is gone. Yes, maybe he might be into uh, to you still, you know, but mm-hmm. that's a possibility. See, me, I get calls from my ex boyfriends, but me, I don't pick up. Mm. I just show like straight. It's like black or white. I don't do any like hesitating or anything. I don't hesitate mm-hmm. anything. So, um, and then I sometimes have to say mean things because, um, you know, they just think that it, it's okay to just approach me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, I'm like, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. I just say straight. it. I just like say it from my mouth. I, like, just like say that. No, you know. that's what. That's the way you got to do it, though. I think. Yes. So, um, ex boyfriend pass on that, mm-hmm. but the friend hit, hit the road, Jack. Yeah. And Dutch come back. No <laughs> more, no. That I don't think that's a good no, idea. It's not. It's, it really is not. not. Do you agree with yeah. us, Benji? Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. So all definitely. three of us have agreement. So <laughs> yes, Navy. No. no, it's a no, no. No. Yes. That's no, no. That's no, no. That's a no, no. <laughs> Moving on. Who? Wow. Okay, we have a Scott Tunisia from Tunisia. So, I have a friend. She is a girl, and uh, uh, she has uh, many lovers. <laughs> many lovers. <laughs> 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 okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> And she is confused about which one she is going to choose from them. What? The first one uh, make her always happy, and she really enjoys with him uh, when they study together and study there in Korea. But Mm -hmm. he is not Korean. Mm -hmm. When she chats with him Mm -hmm. on SNS, she became happy. She know that she knows him from more than she knew her. Uh, to, she knew him more than a year, and he proposed her. Ooh. And he is ready to do anything for her. But sometimes she, uh, she's because of shy to tell him something. And okay, so I don't get the last part. But um, okay, so he already conf- made a confession, and then uh, now he's ready to do everything for her. Okay, and second one is her best friend. She knew him from uh, about six years, and he loved her so much, and they know every small details about each other. So without being shy, and she had more men who are crushing on her, but she preferred these two. (laughs) Popular. Popular. Who do you think is best for her? Really? This is... uh... You know, I, what I think was really funny when I first see this is like, I have a friend. Like, all these stories, that it's like, it's my story. But it's like, you know, I have this friend, <laughs> and, you know, I know, you know this he's just story. like... Okay, Benji, you know what? Um, I don't know. Maybe we need to give the girl's perspective. I think that's better. I think you should go first. Okay, so first of all, mm-hmm. um, I need to meet your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What? I need, I really want to see her. I want to see her face. Oh. Yeah. She must be gorgeous. I mean, yeah. So she has a lot of lovers. She does. Okay. She's a player. But she prefers two guys. <laughs> but you know what? Um, um, Skander from Tunisia. I don't think this is a problem because um, your friend, your friend already knows. She knows who to choose. But it's just weird for me to see you worrying about her too much mm-hmm. about her relationship yeah mm-hmm. yeah because i yeah, this is your story scanner if it's yours then it's a big big decision and you're a popular girl well congratulations yeah <laughs> um but the thing is uh she will do whatever she will like to do she will say oh i have a lot of guys but i prefer these two i don't know who to choose 
relationships are not a game. It's not. It really not a. It's not like a, a menu. Like like food, when you go to food courts, it's like it's not <laughs> a buffet. Have, it's not a buffet. <laughs> it's not a buffet. You're not gonna have a, like course meal or something like that. You know, this is a relationship. If she. If your friend is ready to be in the relationship, she will, you know, decide. But I don't think your friend is ready to be in a relationship. No. Mm. Even she has a lot of lovers. That's I don't think that's a really good idea to choose. Oh, who do I choose? I don't think that's really nice. Especially guys, guys might get hurt from that. Of course. I mean, yeah. I They'll mean, they'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> Benji looks like he'll cry. <laughs> Me? I don't know. <laughs> I am very sensitive. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about you? Last know. any short word? Well, we have to close up oh, already. Oh, we do. Yeah. I mean, my only advice is... Um, well, this is from her friend, right? Worrying about her friend. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's different. I think she should... Uh, I mean, like I said, if she's young... Mm-hmm. Just go with the flow. I don't, I don't know. See, this, this question, I'm not really sure what to how to give advice to but mm-hmm. i think um just stop it mm-hmm. yeah and uh, knowing okay so give another tip knowing uh-huh. too much details about each other then mm-hmm. there's no flutter um ness inside mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i would rather me i'm like if i have to just <laughs> i'd rather go with the, the new one yeah, so the the guy who um, that I am a little bit more interested in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But since Scanda uh, from Tunisia, since this is your friend's problem, let her to decide. Yes, I think that's the best way because I think so too. It, yeah, being too like involved in this kind of relationship that that will lead to this I don't know oh, disaster. Like, yeah, disaster. Yeah. And eighties from Iceland saying hello, Jesse and Benji. I am so happy you guys are here. I love how honest you guys are, and I think it's the perfect for you guys. I'm loving the segment. Segment, and um, you know what? It is our time to say goodbye to you oh, too. No, no, but so to our listeners, once more, don't be too sad. We will continuously uh, share the messages next week, so don't be too sad about that. Thank you very much for being here, Jesse and Benji. Thank once you. more. Thank you. And the song that we are going to listen to is a love virus by scarf see you next week bye bye bye